Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. We continue to track Jose this noontime as we watch uh, gusty winds along our coastline. We are getting closer to low tide in Narragansett, and so the waves uh, backing up with that. But another high tide cycle coming this evening, and we do expect that the wave heights will be between 7 and 10 feet along our open waters of uh, Narragansett uh, Bay as well as Rhode Island and Block Island Sound. So Narragansett 70 degrees. The number to note here, the wind gust 45 miles per hour. So going to start to see some of those gusts between 35 and 45 miles per hour heading through the afternoon and it sticks around these gusty winds not just today but tonight and tomorrow too. 66 degrees in Westport right now. You can see the showers there on the light side across Fall River, New Bedford, Newport and we've had some drizzle mist through in Socket and Providence. Steadier bands of rain have had trouble making it past Buzzards Bay so they're kind of fizzling out as they move west northwest and going to continue to watch those bands. Some off and on rain expected but the heavier rain Fall and it'd be a miss for Rhode Island staying over Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. Here is Jose, still again a sizable tropical storm, 70 mile per hour sustained winds. That's up from earlier this morning, and it's sitting about 150 miles to the south of Nantucket, just grazing Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket with those tropical storm force winds. And again, the forecast track drifts it to the northeast and then it reverses course backs up closer to us Thursday into Friday and so even as late as Friday we'll still have some gusty winds some uh, lingering clouds and the risk of some showers I did keep our threat tracker elevated for today and Thursday as we watch those stronger wind gusts the wind advisory set to continue until tomorrow evening so 35 to 45 mile per hour winds for most of Rhode Island but right along Buzzards Bay Cape Cod Nantucket Block Island we could top that at 45 to 55 mile per hour winds. Still not expecting to see any widespread issues from those sort of winds, but some isolated power outages or wind damage possible. These high surf advisories, those will likely continue through at least the end of the week and possibly even into the weekend. So hurricane uh, uh, looking at our Providence City Cam, rather 70 degrees in Providence, north northeast winds at 24. We're going to see those temperatures hover right around the upper 60s to low 70s throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening hours, along with those gusty winds overnight tonight. More showers, winds gusty as well, and then and some slow improvements tomorrow. Some of our computer models do keep some showers around and a lot of clouds too. Let's talk about Maria moved over Puerto Rico throughout the morning going to emerge back over the water this afternoon and there's the forecast track Maria major hurricane as it stays just to the north and east of uh, the Dominican Republic coming close to the Turks and Caicos and then it looks like it'll be well east of Florida we've got to not keep a close eye on Jose jumping that time clock forward to Saturday. The big question is how will Jose and Maria interact? Will Jose draw Maria in if it gets pulled farther west or will it block it from coming north? It's a complicated scenario and setup for us and a situation that we'll just have to keep an eye on in the coming days. Right now it looks like it would be making its closest pass until maybe Wednesday of next week. So a lot of time to track that, but Jose is going to be in the picture into the upcoming weekend with at least some gusty winds. All right, Michelle, thank you. Now we want to let you know